what's going on? Michael Lawn dude here. Got a uh, quick tip for doing estimates as a lawn and landscape business owner. Um, if you're doing a regular, like say, like mowing estimate, it's pretty cut and clean uh, property. You should kind of already know your prices. You can even get away with doing Google Earth. I know for me, I do a lot of Google Earth uh, for mowing estimates. Um, a lot of times will show you they have a gate or anything, but if you're not sure if there's a hill or how wide the gate is or how tall the lawn might be, you might want to go out there and uh, get a quick uh, look at it, put your eyes on it. Even though for, for us in our policy, when I sent out a proposal, I already have it where it says if it's taller, if it's overgrown, uh, we will charge an extra fee with the first cut. But that is definitely something that is important. It is more important if you're doing uh, landscape maintenance. Man, if you're doing seeding, if you're doing mulch, if you're doing sod, or even top dressing, you better go out there and get accurate measurements so that you know how much material you need. Because you don't want to be that guy, which was me, <laughs> who, um, overbids on um, mulch as far as how much you need you get that amount uh, for the job and then you spread the mulch and you're like oh man I still have mulch left so what you gotta do you gotta shovel that back up into the truck or uh, take a bunch of bags with you and it will be the one day that you have a rare color that you don't usually um, that's not a popular color like for us we have some red mulch jobs but we don't have as many red mulch jobs as we have black or brown. So it will be the day, say like, I have red and all my red mulch job customers are done. And I have a bunch left. Now I got to burn that out somewhere, especially if it's bulk. So make sure you get that accurate. And with sod, man, there's no room for error. You better have the right amount there. Because sod is only good for, for so long without it being in contact with the soil and being watered heavily. You better get the right amount of that or, or you're going to be stuck with a bunch of dead sod after you're done with the job. Uh, so definitely make sure that you get your measurements and everything right. This way you don't burn yourself in pricing and everything. These are mistakes that I definitely made many times where I underpriced. And once you got that price, you, you want to keep that customer, you don't sit there and go, well, you know, I, I, I screwed up. I need to raise your price. No. That's not what's going to happen. <laughs> You're going to have to suck it up and continue to uh, do them at that price. And then the next season, you adjust. And 9 out of 10 times, they might not like how much of an adjustment you have to make. So just make sure you do your due diligence up front so that you don't even have to worry about that. But that's uh, my quick little two cents, my quick little tip on estimates and uh, taking care of those. Alrighty, take it easy.